Not British. Not American. Deutsch. Lern Deutsch. Schweinhund. Hey there and welcome to English Words Out of a German Mouth. Today's topic is the most lethal animals in Germany. In Deutschland. Watch out. Giftig. You know, other countries have poisonous spiders, snakes, everything you can imagine really. But what does Germany have? Was hat Deutschland? To be honest with you guys, Germany doesn't really have that many lethal animals. I mean, they can be lethal. Some are poisonous. And here they are. Die Aspisweeper. Die Aspisweeper. You can find it in quarries and in areas without vegetation. And you mainly find it in the southern black forest in Germany. And oh my god, it can get up to 90 centimeters long. 90 centimeters is this? 30, I guess? Long enough to scare me. The Aspis Viper is diurnal and um, mainly targets small mammals, lizards, and birds. Another interesting thing about the Aspis Viper is that she likes to be in one place only. She doesn't really like crawl into other areas that she's never been to before. At least not on purpose. If you get bitten by that snake, no worries. It's not lethal. Hmm. But the bite can swell up. You might experience breathlessness and heart complaints, so it is probably better to visit a doctor nevertheless. So that was one snake. Let's go to the To the next one. Die Kreuzotter. Die Kreuzotter is just a little bit more poisonous than the Aspis Viper. Die Kreuzotter lives near forests, marshes and swamps. Even though I think swamps and marshes might be the same. But I'm not sure, because I'm German. You can find the Kreuzotter in the North German Plain, the Bavarian Forest, the Black Forest, the Alps, and in some other places, but mostly really in the places I've just mentioned. It also gets up to 90 centimeters, like the Aspis Viper. And you might have guessed it, the Kreuzotter is also a viper, eine Viper. Kreuzottern are very retiring and mostly flee before you even see them. So unless you step on them on purpose, or try to catch them and touch them on purpose, you won't be bitten by it. The poison of the Kreuzotter is even stronger than that of the diamond rattlesnake. But it is not lethal to us because the snake just does not have enough poison. When bitten by the Kreuzotter, the wound might swell up and you might experience breathlessness and heart complaint. If you're really unlucky, you might even experience paralysis. So if you can, visit a doctor. Next up, a spider! Oh my god, I hate spiders! I hate spiders. Next up, die Gartenkreuzspinne. Or in German slang, die Kreuzspinne. Literally translated, this means the cross spider. Or the garden cross spider. Die Kreuzspinne is often found near forests, in forests, and um, on the pathways through forests. So have you noticed she likes forests a lot? Mm. Also, you can find her in bushes, which might also be in forests. And you can find her all over Germany. All over. I've seen her. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the snakes, but I have seen the spider. I don't like it. It can get up to 1.8 centimeters, which is about this tall. Big, whatever. Yeah, not that big. Have you seen Australian spiders? Oh my god, they're so much bigger. So much bigger. And probably Thailand spiders as well. Every spider in the world is probably bigger than a German spider. Maybe, maybe not. The web of a Kreuzspinne can get up to 30 meters, uh, centimeters <laughs> big, like, like this. Mm. And she likes to sit in the middle of it and probably looks something like this doing so. Flies. Maybe, maybe not. You can find the Kreuzspinne in Germany from July to September. She even got little 
little claws like this with poison key key <laughs> I don't think that's the noise a spider makes actually it's probably something like <laughs> but it's too too quiet almost silent maybe it's silent yeah probably silent but the little claws are of course not lethal ha huh? because they can pierce the human skin and even if they could pierce the human skin the poison wouldn't be lethal. No. You don't need to be scared at all actually because when bitten it just feels like being bitten by a mosquito. So not not that bad. Uh, it doesn't hurt that much. <laughs> not that bad. Mm, I like it actually. <laughs> I like it. Okay next up another spider. Hey yay. Um, I didn't even know about the existence of that spider before I found it on the internet. That spider is called Die Dornfingerspinne. Never heard that name before, but apparently we have it. Die Dornfingerspinne is also called Ammendornfinger. You can find her in Saarland, in the Rhein-Main area, in Sachsen-Anhalt and Sachsen. And Die Dornfingerspinne can be found in tall herbaceous vegetation. Also in forest glades, meadows and on waysides. But stay calm. I have never seen a spider like that before in my whole life. In my whole 25 years I haven't seen a spider like that here in Germany. No. So you might not see one either. It can get up to 1.5 centimeters big, whatever that maybe, like that. I, I'm, not, I'm not good with measurements. No. The Dornfingerspinne is nocturnal and likes to chill out and hang out in her gossamer during daytime. The Dornfinger's claws are a little bit longer than the claws of the Kreuzspinne, so it is possible that she pierces your skin. Or that she can. A pretty hurtful bite might happen during July when she defends her cocoon, because in that cocoon are her children. The wound actually might turn dark and get infected. You also might experience dizziness, nausea and sickness. Of course you should visit the doctor right away, but don't be worried, normally the bite of that spider is not much worse than the sting of a wasp. So that's pretty much it with the poisonous animals in Germany. Oh yeah, I forgot about you, sorry, um... Go away. Thank you. Der Feuersalamander. Wow, that's a good looking lizard! Mm. You will find the Feuer Salamander in hill and mountain areas, near tree roots, next to flat stones, next to dead wood, and near boulders. No touching allowed! Just watch with your eyes, don't touch, mm -mm, because that's a poisonous animal. Yeah, not that lethal or that poisonous, but still. To protect itself from funguses and bacteria, the Feuer Salamander sweats out poison through his cutaneous glands. That poison can be a problem for cats or dogs. Through the poison of the fire salamander, the muscles in the jaw of cats or dogs might convulse. For us humans on the other side, that poison is not very dangerous at all. You might feel a little burn on your skin, but that's about it. Very sensitive people or small children might actually experience nausea. But that is really rare. So that's about it with the poisonous animals in Germany. I hope you are now a little less worried about your visit here in Germany because, let's face it, we just don't have lethal animals here at all. I've never seen a lethal animal in my life here in Germany. I have seen one in other countries though. Mm -hmm. And I was glad when I got back and thought like, whoa, no poisonous animals here. <laughs> Um, yeah, we Germans are pretty lucky with that. So, thank you guys for watching and... <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. If you found this video interesting, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you like, get Germanized on my Facebook page, subscribe and see you next Sunday. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.